Tutorial Video 6 Pick and Place Motion Using Vision Hello, this is Video 6 of Omron's Collaborative Robot Tutorial Series. In Video 5, we finished the vision calibration and explored some of the vision tasks. So now we are ready to start creating an application that utilizes the camera and the vision system. We will pick up a cylinder from this hole and place it here. 1. TM Landmark This is called a TM Landmark. TM Landmark is a marker that is designed to be easily detected by the Cobot's camera to be used as a reference point for the Cobot's motion. It creates a vision base, or frame, so that points can be defined in reference to the landmark's position instead of directly related to the Cobot's position. Let's say that you define where the cylinder is in relation to the landmark, and then you move the board. The Cobot can still find the cylinder by checking the landmark because the Cobot knows the position of the cylinder in relation to the landmark. Cool, don't you think? In addition, if you had to move the Cobot and bring it back to work on the task, it would still find the cylinder based on the landmark. 2. Pick and Place Motion with Vision In video 3 of this series, we created a simple pick and place motion. Now we will teach the Cobot to identify the location of the cylinder using the camera and the TM landmark. Then pick up the cylinder and place it here. Let's initiate the gripper and save the initial position. Start a new project and click on the Start node. First, move the robot to a safe place where it can see the landmark. Create a point node and name it Initial. Click and drag the Gripper Set node from the left-hand column to a space below the Start node. Edit the Set node the same way you did in Video 4. Next, we'll create a landmark. Create a new vision node after the OK subnode. Then edit it and create a new vision job. Name it. Then go to Task Designer and select Landmark Alignment. For this example, go with the Fixed option. Click Next if you like the initial position your robot is in. When you see the green coordinates on the landmark, save it, and quit out of the vision job. Keep clicking OK until you get back to the main screen. You'll see an orange icon with a number 1 on the left-hand side of the vision node. That means that this vision node created this vision base, which is normally called a frame in robotics. On the top right, you will see a pull-down menu. When you open it, you can see the vision base that you just created. Make sure that the new vision base is selected in the pull-down menu. Select the landmark node by clicking it. Move the cobot to a pick position and create a point node and choose Pass Path. Rename it as Pick. You'll see the same orange eye icon with the number 1 on the node, but this time it's on the right side of the node. That means that this point is using this particular vision base. To close the gripper, click and drag the close node from the left-hand column to a space below the pick. Create a move node. Edit it. And change Z to minus 200 millimeters. Now we will move the cobot to a place location and save a new point node.
name it place. You should see the same orange eye icon with a number one on the right side of the new node that you just created. For this practice, let's not use this vision base for this node. Click Edit, then Point Manager. Click on Re-Record on another base and select Robot Base. Then keep clicking OK until you get to the main window. To open the gripper, repeat the same procedure as the one for closing the gripper, except this time, use the Open node. Create another Move node, and change Z to minus 200 again. Now let's run the project. After you've seen it pick in place, try to move the board that houses the TM landmark and the cylinder a little bit while making sure that the landmark stays in the camera's vision. See if the cobot can still do the task. Check that the place location doesn't change in relation to the robot. Yes, congratulations. The cobot successfully recognized the TM landmark and knows where the cylinder is located even after it gets moved. This concludes video six of the Omron TM series tutorials.